Welcome back to Android Vision. I hope you guys enjoy Treevenge. It's a nice little lovely tale of trees taking revenge on the human race. Take a sip on me. Cheers to you guys. Happy holidays, by the way. Yeah, so tonight, on tonight's show, we, we got a nice, nice little lineup. We got the first movie we got. It's going to be a Thanksgiving horror film. Now, don't believe all the hype when we all first saw that, you know, uh, Eli Roth Thanksgiving fake trailer, which was an amazing trailer. It was, it was, it was awesome. I loved it. It, it. it was violent. It was grotesque. It was hilarious. However, a lot of people said, hey, there's no Thanksgiving themed horror films, you know, out on the market. You know, this is the first one. He should make it. Well, let me tell you something, folks. There's a couple of Thanksgiving themed horror films that were made in the early 80s. One being Home Sweet Home. I, I can't find it. I thought for sure it was back there. Can't find that motherfucker anywhere. Great, great slasher film. If you guys can find Home Sweet Home, let me know. Send it to me. I'll throw it up on the show. However, we got Blood Rage. Okay, Blood Rage, actually, aka Nightmare in Shadow Woods, was filmed in 1983, but was released in 1987. This movie's been chopped up, uh, gorged out, reproduced, whatever the case may be. Who knows what cut you know you're watching when you're watching it? However, procured the uncut version. That's right, folks. This movie was actually just re-released by uh, Arrow Films. Um. It's a beautiful film. I would have to say it's definitely an under the radar uh, uh, slasher film, as you will. And this this doesn't take really the, the the cues from all the slasher films, because you know most slasher films that came out, you know, you got got the guy with the mask, you got the virgin running around, you got uh, you know this and this and this and this and this and that. It's, it's a formula. This kind of breaks the formula, which is what I really like about it. Blood Rage. Uh, is is really like I said a psychological slasher, but it doesn't skip on the gore, which is phenomenal. Uh, the gentleman who did the gore effects, whose name escapes me right now, for T2, actually did the gore effects for this film. Um, it's about a set of twins named Terry and Todd, who uh, are a little bit confused. It seems like they have a little bit of an Oedipus complex, uh, or their mom. I, I you guys, well, whatever. Uh, make heads or tails of what you think of that. Um, we got a nice little cameo by Ted Raimi himself selling a pocket full of condoms. It's really funny. Um, really, really good synth score in this film that would make Daft Punk jealous. Way better synth score than uh, that Tron Legacy film, which was pretty cool, but look for the synth score in this film. Um, we got uh, Crazy Mothers. We got Titties which is great. We got insane twins. We got really good gore. Um, and what else do we got in this movie? A really, really, really good thing that I forgot. Oh, the tagline. It's not cranberry sauce. Look for that in this film as well. Um, the mother really made me nervous for some reason in this film, and I'll tell you why. Um, Lois Lasser, she, she's, you know, uh, done television and films all through the 60s and 70s, um, she really played this role seriously. I don't quite think the actress knew through the film what kind of movie she was going to be in because she played it really straight laced and really serious. And this lady is plays it just she's manic. Once shit hits the fan, she starts binge eating, she starts binge drinking, she starts binge cleaning. It's almost like you know some of the guys that work out here on the fucking set. So, anyways, you guys, that's not cranberry sauce. Enjoy Blood Rage.